Hello, gala planners, auction chairs, and others who are in the fundraising auction space. <clears throat> My name is Sherry with Red Apple Auctions. Today, I want to continue this theme that I started two weeks ago in talking about auction consignment, this kind of industry within the industry that's providing trips and memorabilia and jewelry and so forth to nonprofits and schools who are planning fundraising auctions. I'm going to be updating my Mastering Auction Consignment course next week. So this is just kind of leading us into that course. You can learn more about that course at the bottom. Just go ahead and click through to learn all the details. Uh, I wanted to talk about three trends that I see in the auction consignment space. And I think there's more than three trends, but I'm going to talk about three at, in this video. The first one is that we are seeing a lot of the consigners add things to their trips. You might be going to Napa and by the way, it includes three different wine tastings or it includes a dinner uh, or you're going on a trip somewhere and it includes kayaking experience, something that's wrapped into the trip itself. So you're not just buying the trip or I, I should say that the donor, not the donor, the guest is not just buying the trip, but they're buying this whole package of things that are happening on site. So I've noticed that several different consigners are doing that that now. I understand certainly why from their perspective, it's like you're adding um, you're adding a way to, to kind of beef up the package, right? If I'm, I might be making, I don't know, $500 on the trip itself, but then I can make $100 for everything that I add on. So it's a bigger experience overall for me to sell. That's from the consigner perspective. Uh, and then from, of course, the perspective that's that your guest would have is that they're getting more stuff that they're able to do once they're there. Now, there can be reasons as to why you don't want to have the consigner do that. We'll cover more of that in the course and kind of how you can adjust it to fit your needs. A second trend that I see is winner's choice or buyer's choice. So this is something that we've done in as auctioneers for a long time, but now we're starting to see the consigners actually pull this in and make it a formal package. So what they'll say is this is skiing winner's choice and you're going your buyer is going to have the opportunity to choose where they want to go. Maybe they're going to go to Colorado and ski or Lake Tahoe or Canada. It's the winner's choice to decide which of these fabulous trips they want to take or maybe it's three different beaches, or it's three different family things. Uh, all of it is, is the same concept, whereby we are presenting three different things, three different opportunities, or two different opportunities, or five different opportunities, and we're letting the buyer decide which one of those opportunities they want to take advantage of. Like with everything, there are reasons you might want to do that, or reasons you don't want to do that, and that's something, again, I'm going to be covering in the course. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, to keep it short, I'll go on to my next third item and or third trend. And this trend is that really it's it's because of the the direction of the industry. And it has to do with shooting uh, or creating packages that are to lesser known locations. And I've seen this even in the I don't know, 17 years that I've been in business, is that you start to see trends like. Sometimes you, when Cuba opened up, oh my gosh, I must have sold 40 trips to Cuba that year. It was new. No one had been there. Huge demand to go to Cuba. So that was a trend. Then Iceland started to get exciting. Gosh, I went to Iceland years ago with a friend. I can assure you there were no four-star hotels in Iceland when I went. But you know what now? That whole area has developed up. They've, that was a big push. And so for a while, we were selling a lot of Iceland trips. So now we're seeing other areas start to open up because uh, the consigners are trying to find ways to package trips that are affordable so that when you buy these experiences, you can then sell them for a profit. And so they've got to find cheaper places to go, if you will, uh, that are still desirable so that they can um, they can present them to you. So that's, for instance, Portugal. I'm seeing a lot of Portugal now still considered more affordable, but even you know reaching further on in there into Eastern Europe. Yeah, France is, is still popular. Yes, Italy is still popular, but those places are expensive. So where can we go that's going to be less expensive and still create a memorable experience for your guests, All right? Three trips, tips there on trends that I'm seeing and I'm going to go through more of this and in further detail on January 31st, Mastering Auction Consignment. Please join us. 
It's a great way to kind of get an understanding of the industry. There's so many options out there that people just don't have an understanding of. It really is this unique industry within an industry that if you're new, it can be a little bit overwhelming to understand, well, why would I choose this one over this one? Are they all offering the same thing? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. So we'll talk about that all next week. Look forward to seeing you there. I'm Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions. As always, good luck to you in your fundraising auction.